In this video, we go over some basic mod IDs that we can use for the Polybrute. And our first sound is a variation on this typical plug sound that we can uh, create by actually using an envelope and uh, link it to the cutoff of our filter and then we get this plucky sound. But on the Arturia Polybrute we can also get a similar sound but in a totally different way without, without actually using the cutoff of our filter. And in order to do this, um, so this is our, this is the kind of sound we are going for. And I already prepared something for you guys. Um, as you can see right here, we are going to use the mod envelope, which is currently set up like this. And we are going to, because that's one of the cool things about the Polybrute, we can um, actually change the wave shapes from, let's say, a triangle towards um, a square wave and also everything in between. And that's really great because we can actually mod this as well. So if we go to our mods page, I already prepared this. We are going to change VCO1, the square mix, which is this knob, the saw triangle mix, which is this knob, and for VCO2 as well, square mix and our saw triangle mix. And what it basically does is, if we look at our mod envelope again, it is going to bring the knobs up and turning them down. So this is how it sounds and actually in the end the whole sound morphs towards a triangle shape and that's why it sounds plucky because a uh, triangle shape doesn't have a lot of harmonic content and it's also used for bass sounds a lot, so... So if you look at the amount, 100 for square mix, so what it basically does is when the envelope kicks in, it turns the knob up all the way and then it comes da back down. And for our saw triangle mix, it does the same thing, but in the different direction. So you can see it's minus 100. So that means when the envelope kicks in, it turns it all the way down and brings it back up, which means we get a sawtooth sound that goes down towards a triangle shape. And the square mix, starts with a square sound and goes down towards nothing, which means it basically sounds like a triangle shape because that's, that's all that's left. And this way we get a similar sound towards that plucky sound where we just use an envelope on the cutoff. The cool part about this is that we actually, um, when we sustain the sound, we get more of a flute kind of sound. Compared to using just cut off. Sounds quite different sustained. So that's our first mod ID. Now let's continue with another one. This is actually an arpeggiated sound. And I actually modded VCA envelope release and attack. 
and I use two different LFOs for that. So what it basically does is it kind of randomizes our attack and release by using two different envelopes. If I turn it down, I mean if I disable it, it sounds like this. which is quite robotic, you know, machine gun effect, where everything sounds the same, so... And I um, actually synced one, and one um, LFO to our tempo. We can do this with LFO2 as well, but since I want it to sound really random, I actually disabled it. So it's out of sync with the tempo. And we just use an amount 40, 19 on LFO1. So the release, it marks the release. If I turn it. So quite straightforward, just uh, use our VCA envelope, attack and release and just use one LFO which is at a medium pace and a second LFO which goes faster and just use an amount. If I turn down LFO2 for example. like this but I like it more randomized so that's why I also used LFO2 and of course we can also um, use this effect a little bit less so it's just a really subtle change Just to get rid of that robotic sound where everything just sounds the same and a bit boring. This is without the modifications of course. So that's mod ID number two. Now let's move on to mod ID number three which sounds like this. I actually used LFO 1 and 2 again. This time both are synced and that's really important because I wanted to create some sort of a rhythmic change in our sound. And I used our um, two filters for that. So Steiner cutoff, which is this cutoff, and the leather cutoff, which is this filter, and then the Steiner slope, which is, I think it's this one. No, it's the resonance. What's the slope again? I think this is the slope. Yeah, this is our slope. So just small amounts. We can of course take this even further. Here you can definitely hear LFO1 really good. We can also do it in the other direction. But we should also do this for LFO2 maybe. Not 
sure what I did right here with LFO3. So if I turn down all these modifications, this is changing the slope only. And this is how LFO2 sounds. And this is LFO1 only. Okay, also um, using LFO 1 and 2 on our master cutoff and VCA amount. So if I disable these, this is our basic sound. And if we only use those. Steiner cut off. Let's just kind of randomly use some of these. So that's mod ID number three. And now let's move on to our last mod ID which sounds like this. And this one is quite interesting because we are actually modifying our pitch and we are also modifying our mod itself but first things first let's start with pitch so i used a very quick lfo and let's see right here vcf envelope for master cutoff maybe we can disable this one <laughs> So LFO1 right here to change our pitch on VCO1 and also on VCO2 and I have chosen for a different amount for both of them. Now let's actually disable this for a minute. So this is how it sounds. And of course we can, if we use the same amount, it would sound like this. Let's, it's really, it's, but I think this sounds more interesting if it's, it's slightly, slightly different. Ah, okay, 1.88. Ah, oh, this is really... <laughs> and it's important that it's 1.88. You'll see that in a minute. So this way it sounds really nasty. And... Really important is that fast rate on our LFO. And what I did is actually, so we have an amount of 1.88 at VCO1. And as you can see right here, I use our mod envelope to counter that. 
And this way, we use the mat envelope. Let's look at our mat envelope for a minute. To actually turn the, the amount of pitch that we change and just mirror it. So that's why it's negative minus 1.88 and that way the pitch gets stable again and is back at just no pitch change at all. And we also do the same thing for uh, VCO2 which was at 1.23 should be exactly the same actually. Oh, this is so tricky. Yes. So we actually just use our mat envelope to determine how long this glitchy pitch effect should uh, sound. So if we change the attack, Now it's really subtle. And also really important, our release. Because I like this effect to come back when we release. If we turn it down, you will hear it again really good especially if I turn up our release of our, our VCA. And that's really cool, I mean. That's a bit too much, maybe turn the release up a little bit. Something like this. We can also go even faster. So that's it, those are my small mod IDs to get you started. I hope you liked some of them and of course feel free to use them. Um, this is what makes the Polybrute really powerful and I really like doing just subtle modifications to our, to our sound. So that's the whole power of the Polybrute, I think we should use it, even if it's just some slight subtle changes to our sound which makes it really unique, of course, and original. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video and also feel free to subscribe if you haven't already because there's, of course, always new content coming your way. Stay tuned and I see you in the next video.